Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Hunza Valley, Pakistan. Today we have a very long day. We're driving from Hunza Valley to Kunjarab Pass. It is a very high mountain pass. It's the border between Pakistan and China. But along the way, we're gonna stop to eat a local lunch. Uh, we're gonna eat some food along the way. Then after Kunjarab Pass, we'll be driving back down to Gilgit. So it's gonna be a very long day, a lot of driving. Uh, so before we start anything, I'm having breakfast at the hotel. Yeah, one of the local breakfasts is a, a type of pancake. One is made with buckwheat, uh, seasoned with apricot oil. Mm. Oh, that's like more, more like gummy than I had imagined. Since coming to this region, entire Gilgit Baltistan region, I have just thoroughly loved that apricot oil. It's so fragrant. That one almost kind of has a French toast taste to it. Also, breakfast in Pakistan, I just cannot resist the the kima. I think this one looks like chicken, which is like a mincemeat uh, fry or mincemeat curry. Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, this is a local granola, um, all with like nuts grown here. And I'm not sure what type of seeds those are and also some of the local, local yogurt. Oh, there's some type of seed in there. It tastes like sesame, but it's really crispy, really crunchy. And then you've got just like almonds and walnuts just crushed up in there. Good morning, Ali. Good morning. You're ready I don't for want today? To Just leave me here. <laughs> yeah, and this morning, uh, the peak that we tried to see yesterday, Rakaposhi, which is one of the tallest mountains in this region, in this area, yeah, it was shining in the sun. Nizam, good to see you. We're all packed up and loaded on our way. Uh, it's gonna be about a four hour drive all the way to Kunjarab Pass, but of course we're gonna stop along the way. Though we just looked at the forecast, it's a high of negative 12 degrees Celsius, a low of negative 22 and snow. So it's gonna be Arctic conditions up there. It's gonna be freezing cold. Uh, we're on our way for the day. in the middle of the mountain right now. A massive tunnel just going through the, cut straight through the rock. <laughs> We're in the middle of the, on the rock. <laughs> Stunning. What's the name of this lake? Atabad Lake. This is Atabad Lake, okay. What happened was that this mountain had, due to an earthquake, the mountain had come down all the way. So this lake, then this used to be a valley right here. Ah. A very small, uh, Hunza River just flowing through the bed. But then because of the rock slide, ah, the way of the Hunza walking. River was stopped. And this entire lake was formed in 2007, 2008. We're actually gonna stop at this lake though on another place, right? It's gonna get better than this. We're gonna stop here just for a cup of tea. And then after that, we're gonna head down to the water's edge, I believe, for a boat maybe. It is cold up here. There's nothing better than a toilet with a breathtaking view. Sorry about the, the quick toilet shot. Okay. That feels and tastes so good. Just warms going down. We're lakeside now, time to fully gear up. It's the wind that is really whipping through this valley and the lake that's really making it frigidly cold. We've chosen to take this big boat, it's, and it actually has a lot of historical value. This used to be a boat that was a ferry that used to transport, and they would even carry vehicles, trucks in here, across the lake uh, to the other side before they built the tunnel. So the tunnel was actually built quite recently. Once again, just unimaginable beauty. It's so freezing cold, but it's so unbelievably beautiful. Words cannot even describe. Beautiful beyond Myers. It's so beautiful that you can't imagine. You just can't put it in words. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you. A little bit of a random situation. We're trying to arrange dinner on the way back from Kunjareb Pass, and so we're just in this village. What is the village called? Gum, 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 Gulmit. 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 Um, and then we're just checking out there. We ordered some food, and then we're gonna 
be in this traditional house for dinner, but she's just offered me some traditional bread. Really like, like kind of like a cracker bread. Really like thick and hearty. But we're kind of getting late on time. Things kind of happening at a slow pace. Uh, but hopefully the plan is to come back to this house later tonight where they will cook us. There's actually a restaurant where they'll cook food and then they'll serve it to us in that home. But they were so welcoming. Again, so welcoming and hospitable. We gotta make a move. It's gonna get dark and cold very soon. How's the house? Yeah, the house is nice. It's like last night, kind of. 6 p.m. Well, cut that. Uh, but this is going to be a totally. It's going to be. It, the food looks very similar to uh, Hunza, the food we ate in Hunza, but a little bit different because this is actually Pamirian cuisine, like the next, the next region, sort of. Hey guys, oh, a nice flock. Got some big horns in there. Nice flock of sheep and goats. Okay, we're almost to a place called Sost where we're gonna stop for a lunch, hopefully. Every, wait, so every day they serve biryani except for today. Today happens to be Friday, so he cooked all sorts of different curries and dishes. <laughs> we ordered pretty much everything he has. It smells so good in here. Oh, here it comes the beans and the dal and the. It smells so good. Dude, Vegetable dish, we got a, some dal and also some beans. Maybe you just try and some mixed sabzi. This is the mixed vegetable. There's potato, there's onions in here, and peppers. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's as good as it smells. Everything is just like cooked down so soft. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. It looks like a variety of lentils, maybe black lentils, and then onions, there's carrots in here. Mm. Oh, this, is this is a, yeah, this is a it tastes like healthy, like mm -hmm. less of the butter, more of the spice. Hopefully this chili warms me up. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, this is good, simple food. Beans, maybe sweetened with some carrots and some chilies in there. And just a light blend of spices. It just tastes so good. Yeah. Kundra, two Kundra pass? No, <laughs> cheers, dudes. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's it's a mouthful of chili. I have like raw chili. These spices are awesome. <clears throat> and I think from riding in the car, Winding around, you do get pretty hungry too. Mm -hmm. This just feels so good. Mandatory beverage after lunch. And I was vegetarian. I actually, come to think of it, I didn't even realize that I was as I was eating it because it was so good. Okay, we have about two hours still until we reach Kunjarab Pass, so we got to get moving. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Traffic block, wow, that's just a sea of sheep and goats. Hey guys. Some of them are look really like they look, they look really warm and cozy out there. getting really high in elevation. We're probably at about 4,400 meters now. Uh, gonna be at the pass in a few minutes. I can actually feel a little bit, yeah, starting to get a little lightheaded, I believe from the elevation. Okay, we are almost to the top. Yes, it looks like this is where it's time to put on the hat and the gloves. Yeah. It is otherworldly here. It looks like we are literally on top of the world. Oh yeah. Oh, that is cold. Oh, that is freezing cold. Should be about negative 12. Oh, I can just feel it in my throat. Look at this landscape. It's just otherworldly though. We literally are on top of the world. <laughs> 
Assalamu alaikum. There it is. That's the border. That's the the famous landmark gate over there. Whew. Yeah, just taking a little walk down the road. I'm I am breathing. I can feel that. Um, I think I'm gonna probably stop right here. But those mountains, they must be in China. Oh yeah, there's the sign Urumqi and Kashgar, just down the road. Okay, well, back in the back in the car. That is some serious elevation. This is the highest elevation I've been to. It's freezing cold out there, but wow, it was just otherworldly. Turn the light all the way up. Oh, you can smell the bread. And now we made it back to the village where we had reserved the food. So dinner is ready. We're in the home. It smells and looks delicious. Molida. 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 Well, that one is okay. apricot soup. Okay. It's a vegetable dish, too. Vegetable and meat. They just kept bringing more and more food, and it looks incredible. Uh, so, this is Pamiri cuisine, uh, which is kind of like Central Asian, Tajikistan, Afghani food. Very, very low on the meat. I think the soup. She said the soup might have a little bit of meat in it, but other than that, it's mostly vegetables, especially a lot of wheat, a lot of like, like warm, warming food, and a lot of like pancake, like bready looking dishes. They kind of look like flax seeds, um, and then some, I think there's something in the center as well, I think like an almond, maybe nut paste, with, that might be apricot oil. Mm. I think that is apricot oil. Brushed on top, yeah, definitely. I can taste that unique flavor. And then it tastes kind of like, like uh, flaxseed on top, and then maybe black pepper. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Two different types of soups. One is like a, one is like a noodle creamy looking soup. One is actually a very unique soup. It's filled with apricots, and you can just see those apricots just in there. So it's kind of a, I'm sure it's going to be kind of sweet with the apricots. Let's try the noodle soup first. It brought us an amazing assortment of dishes. There looks like a little bit of meat in here. Mm. Mm. Whoa, that has like a, a surprising like sour taste to it. Maybe from yogurt, but at the same time, it kind of has like a an animaly taste to it, or like a smoky point taste to it. The apricot soup now. Okay, and you can see just those chunks of apricot. There's the noodles in here. Um, wow, that's just like whoa. There's like just in one my one serving, there must be like five apricots in here, and even the sauce is just pure melted down apricot. Oh wow! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I hope I could hear Micah's fart on camera. <laughs> that apricot soup though, that is like, it is like just melted apricots, like cooked down apricots with noodles in it. It's almost like an apricot jam soup. Next dish, this one is like a vegetable, really simmered down also with potato in it. Mm. Mm. Oh, well, that's superb. That tastes kind of like mustard green because it has that slight bitterness to it. You can taste the chilies in there. You can taste like the the richness of it, but it's so... Oh, onions in there too. This one is another wheat-based dish. You can see it glistening from the oil. I'm sure that's apricot oil. Let me grab a piece of this. Mm. You can definitely taste the nuttiness of this again. Possibly walnuts, but then also possibly apricot seeds. Whoa. There's also a staple to try, which is like a, it almost looks like a porridge. And this dish is actually called molita here. Um, it looks like it could be wheat made into kind of a porridge. Mm. Oh, wow. That is again. Wow. That tastes like, like sour animal sort of. Wow, that's totally unexpected. You would not even predict that. You think it, it, it almost looks like oatmeal. You'd almost think it tastes like oatmeal. But that's just a burst of like sourness. They also do have an extra bowl of oil, which I believe is apricot oil. Um, and I think that came also with the uh, molita. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely apricot oil. That goes with like a sour cheesiness. It's like a cross between noodles and porridge. And then finally to finish the meal, there's a couple different pancakes. This one is the sweet pancake, I believe. Looks like it's kind of drizzled in a syrup. Mmm, that kind of tastes like molasses. Maybe it's honey. Yeah, probably honey. 
slightly leathery, possibly buckwheat pancake. That's good. And it's like juicy. It's like juicy with the honey. It's one of the most interesting meals I've ever had. Those greens taste like collard greens. It was surprisingly awesome. Final to finish off the meal. This I think this is the salty version of that same pancake. Mmm. 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 Yes. That is a perfect final bite. The apricot oil is just gushing. Yeah, and the more you chew, the more the apricot oil just like and fragrances your entire mouth and nostril area. Finally for dessert, we're having tea, uh, which is actually not tea, but it's made from bozange, which is a local herb grown in these mountains, which probably grows wild in these mountains. Um, and then also some kind of a like cookie fritter. Mm. Okay, to me that immediately tastes like juniper or like juniper berries or like has like an evergreen taste to it. So it's actually called urzuk and there's wheat there's egg yolk and oil in here. It's kind of like a cocoon. It tastes like a like like a 3D cracker, like kind of like crackery. And what they do? Similar to the food in Hunza that we had the other day, oh, just yesterday, uh, but at the same time it was different. But it was I don't think we we only had a tiny bit of meat. There was a little bit of dairy in the in the dishes as well, but almost vegetarian. Um, almost completely vegetarian. A lot of like starches though, and a lot of like whole grains. From here, we are driving back to Gilgit, and then we are actually tomorrow we'll be catching a flight from Islamabad. Well, from Gilgit to Islamabad, Islamabad to Karachi, and that's gonna complete this entire Pakistan trip food and travel series. So stay tuned for that. But for now, back to the truck. I'm just gonna take a nap, so I'm gonna end the video right now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and if you're not already Already subscribed click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video uh, Karachi food coming up uh, thanks again for watching see you on the next video and by the way if you turn off this light man it is just pitch black here oh, yeah.